one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. I ate a lot of meat. They showed us commercials. Steak. That's what a man eats. Selling that idea that real men eat meat. Serious man food. But you got to understand, that's marketing. That's not based on reality. I've been teaching fighting techniques to government agencies for more than 15 years. Then, I got injured. Unable to teach for at least six months, I spent more than a thousand hours studying science on recovery and nutrition, and stumbled across a study about the Roman gladiators. The gladiators were predominantly vegetarian. How could the original professional fighters be so powerful, eating only plants? When I made the switch to a plant-based diet, I qualified for my third Olympic team. I broke two American records. I was like, man, I should have done this a long while ago. When I went plant-based, I wasn't sure if I was going to survive. And I actually became like a machine. One of the biggest misconceptions in sports nutrition is that we have to have animal protein to perform at a high level. That's just not true. Sometimes you have to do things that you know your competitors aren't doing. Today's blood and yesterday's blood. Yeah. I think this is going to wake a lot of people up. I was recovering better, not getting as sore. This was our best season in the last 15 years, and we had 14 guys on plant-based diets. We all want to feel great, have more energy. Cholesterol was 276. Today, 169. Whoa, now you're talking. <laughs> Most guys my age can't keep up with the grandchildren. My grandchildren can't keep up with me. It's not one set of dietary guidelines for improving your performance as an athlete. Another one for reversing heart disease, reversing diabetes. It's the same for all of them. Someone asked me, how could you get as strong as an ox without eating any meat? And my answer was, have you ever seen an ox eating meat? The vegan new world order is already here. Lies built on lies. There aren't any steak commercials on TV, and there haven't been for years. No one is saying real men eat meat. They are creating a false narrative, a straw man argument. The media and news are full of pro-grain, processed food, plant-based bullshit. Roman gladiators were slaves. They didn't get to choose what they ate let alone have a preference for being vegetarian. Slaves eat slop, porridge, cereal grains, blender food, what vegans eat. Now, there were some slightly better off gladiators who did have a higher meat consumption, and they examined their bones through anthropological evidence. But vegans tend to ignore any information that contradicts their ideas and viewpoints. They'll look at a group of people, some of them would eat plants, some of them eat meat, and they ignore the people that eat meat. Sports in general, especially these athletes, are built on lies. Every single professional athlete is using performance-enhancing drugs, steroids, doping, growth hormones, whatever it is. They are experts at passing drug tests and not getting caught. They've created this illusion and glamour of being a professional athlete without telling you their dirty little secret. The blood comparison is ridiculous. You know, they showed a vial of blood. One had a little more fat in it than others. Regardless of whether you're eating plant fats, animal fats, doesn't matter. You will have more fat flowing through your blood because your body's literally bringing fat to your cells. It's a source of energy. It's a normal physiological process in the human body for energy production. This fear-mongering around fat dates back to the modern lipid hypothesis that fat is bad for us, cholesterol causes heart disease, yet it's a hypothesis and has never been proven. The American government has taken this and ran with it for the past 50 years to make us unhealthy, obese, and sick with high disease rates, shoving grains and processed foods down our throats. This plant-based 
vegan agenda is a way for them to repackage this message into similar foods with different marketing terms. They've already made trillions of dollars. Why not make a few trillion dollars more off of their nonsense? Vegans say that their diet reverses heart disease, diabetes, whatever it may be. This is simply not true as vegans have the same overall mortality rates as other groups of people. Their heart disease rates and diabetes rates go down slightly, but their stroke rates actually go up. Uh, this is mainly related to a lack of vitamin B12 causing high homocysteine levels as well as a high plant sterile, a high plant fat consumption, essentially turning all the lipids and all the fats in their body into plants. And these plant sterols, vegetable seed oils, high linoleic acid foods, are the actual true cause of heart disease. And if you want to learn more about that, uh, check out my past few videos on arterial calcification and heart disease. Patrick Baboumian is the strongman in the documentary, and he's actually been injured since 2016, his body being unable to recover from the injury because he is on a vegan diet. Literally, two years later, he is still not working out. You have Nimai Delgado, a vegan loaded up on anabolic steroids, but hey, anabolic steroids are made from yams, so they are plant-based. And there are literally about two to three dozen other people involved in this documentary that we don't have enough time or resources to go through. The one consistent factor is that they are mostly former athletes advocating for a plant-based diet. They are not competing at the highest level and most likely just wanted a quick paycheck. We do see Caldwell Esselstein, a prominent doctor in the vegan community with ties to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. We've mentioned the Seventh-day Adventists many times on this channel. It's a religious group with a strong belief in a diet free from meat. They have massive influence in the United States. Every major health organization, the American Dietetics Association, American Heart Association, always flows back to them. And, of course, you have the man himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This isn't the first time Arnold Schwarzenegger has been involved in anti-meat propaganda. To avoid catastrophic climate change. We need to change how we travel. Improve how we generate energy. And consider what we eat. Meat production produces up to 15% of greenhouse gases, and high meat consumption can lead to heart disease, obesity, and other serious health issues. So for the planet and for your health, please consider eating less. Less meat, less heat, more life. This is where the vegan diet falls apart like the six foot tall stack of cow shit that it is. Driving a car is three times worse for the environment than eating meat. Having a child is 60 times worse, yet they're not telling you to stop having kids, are they? If one in every 60 people didn't have a child, that would be the equivalent of every single person going vegan from an environmental perspective. But what they don't understand is that raising animals in a natural ecosystem, deers, shitting in the woods, pasture-raised animals, biodynamic practices to some degree, is carbon positive. It's good for the environment. Plants and animals in nature put carbon back in the soil. Saying that meat is up to 15% of greenhouse gas emissions is simply another lie. Total agriculture is 9% in the United States, 3% of which is animal agriculture. But hey, saying that, you know, the portion of animal agriculture that's beef would result in you with a very small percentage, probably less than 1%. And that doesn't sound as convincing, does it? Oh no, up to 0.7% of carbon emissions are from beef. We have to stop eating cows. We covered uh, the bullshit about reversing disease earlier, but notice how the message is always against meat. 
they don't care about the environment, they don't care about your health, and they certainly don't care about you having more children. None of this adds up. This is the next step in the agenda for our planet. I never expected the vegan diet to be pushed uh, so quickly and so strongly in the media. I was only speculating that the veganism was a side agenda and that the standard American diet we are all suffering on now was enough for them to reach their end goal. Reducing meat from our modern diets will make us unhealthier, give us a lower IQ, easier to control, influencing people uh, to stop driving, use mass transit, uh, removing people's independence. They want us living in boxes, getting blasted with you know, EMF radiation injected with soy-based slop. This needs to be fought against now. And any vegan denying this agenda needs to be put in their place. They are literally tools for the destruction of our society. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share the video if you can. Recently, we've launched Frankie's Free Range Meats providing you guys with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price, giving you the cognitive function higher than a dead grape. Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com, check out some of the grass fed meat products we have, quality organ meats, fat, raw cheeses. If you want Frankie's meat in your mouth, you know where to go. Frankiesnaturals.com is a website that features Minimal ingredient, minimally processed cosmetic and hygiene products. So if you want to look like a Roman statue on the outside, go to frankiesnaturals.com. Check out some of our products. Fluoride-free tooth powder, aluminum-free deodorant, lip balm, Frankie's moisturizing cream, a.k.a. ball grease, as well as hair cement. Thanks again, guys, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.